dear students welcome to another session of my lecture series in the last class we discussed consistency inconsistency of system of linear equations and also considered few examples on testing consistency and then solve the given system of linear equations in today's class also let me consider few more examples of system of linear equations so let me consider the following example investigate investigate for what values of lambda and mu investigate for what values of lambda and mu the simultaneous equations the simultaneous equations simultaneous equations x plus y plus z is equal to 6 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 10 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 10 
again is the Gaussian matrix, where A is the Gaussian matrix with the address 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, lambda. 1, 2, lambda. So this is the Gaussian matrix coefficient matrix and x is the column matrix of unknowns x, y, z column matrix of unknowns x, y, z b is the column matrix of constants constants that is 6, 10 6, 10. So consider the admitted matrix. Consider the admitted matrix. The admitted matrix. Admitted matrix of the given system of equation of the given system of equations of the given system of equations is matrix admitted matrix A bar B is equal to A bar B is equal to 1 1 1 6 1 1 1 6, 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, lambda, mu, 1, 2, lambda, mu. So there is the augmented matrix and let us reduce this augmented matrix to its echelon form. Subtracting R3 from R1 because both are equal to 1. 
simply subtract. Don't worry about the other limits. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. Lambda minus 1. So lambda minus 1. This right as it is. Lambda minus 1. Mu minus 6. This right as it is. Mu minus 6. Mu minus 6. Further, it is still not in the Agarhan form. I have to make this element 0, this element 0. So both are equal to 1. So it is very easy task to make this element 0 with the operation R3 minus R. Very simple. So R3 will change with respect to the operation <coughs> R3 minus R2. R3 minus R2. So again, Another equivalent matrix. Uh, row one being the same, being the same. Row two is being used, so no change in row two. Four, then zero. R three minus R two. R three one minus one. This is zero. Lambda minus one minus two. So you get lambda minus three. Lambda minus 3. Then similarly, mu minus 6 minus 4, mu minus 10, mu minus 10, mu minus 10. So this is a graph for now. So now, look at the question. For all values of lambda and mu, the system has Unique solution, no solution, and infinite number of solutions. Infinite number of solutions. Okay. Now for the question number one, for what values of lambda and mu, the system has no solution. That means the system should become in, uh, inconsistent. That means rank of the admitted matrix should not, is not equal to the rank of the coefficient matrix. That means the coefficient matrix at the rank of the uh, argumented matrix should have the two different ranks. So, such a thing will happen only when this is equal to 0. When lambda is equal to 3 and mu not equal to 10, so this should not become 0 and this should essentially become 0 to satisfy the uh, <coughs> first, to answer the first question. So, for lambda is equal to 3, mu not equal to 10, so what happens? Uh, this is 0 for lambda is equal to 3. Mu not equal to 2. This is not equal to 0. So close this column. Rank of the co uh, coefficient matrix is 2. And consider the entire matrix. That is admitted matrix. The rank of the admitted matrix is. This is a non-zero row because this is not equal to 0. 1, 2, 3. So rank of the admitted matrix is 3. Uh, and rank of the coefficient matrix is 2. And they are not equal. Uh, so rank of the admitted matrix is not equal to the rank of the coefficient matrix. Therefore, the system, given system of equations is inconsistent and hence has no solution. So, let me answer the first question. First question, for what values of lambda and mu, the system of equations is, uh, has no solution. For lambda is equal to 3, for lambda is equal to 3, and mu not equal to 10, mu not equal to 10, rank of admitted matrix is equal to 3 because mu is not equal to 10, rank of the quotient matrix A is 2. Therefore, rank of the admitted matrix is not equal to is not equal to rank of the coefficient matrix. Not equal to rank of the coefficient matrix. Hence, the given system of equations is in this case 
is inconsistent and hence has no solution. Cat. Cat. The given system. Given system of equations. Equations is inconsistent. Equations that is a okay, is inconsistent. Inconsistent <coughs> and has no solution. And has no solution. And has no solution. So this is the answer to the question. Question number one. <coughs> For what one is that view? The system is uh, does not possess uh, solution or has no solution. For lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to mu not equal to 10, the given system of equations has no solution. So let me answer the second question. Unique solution. So we know the condition for unique solution. Uh, first of all, it should be consistent to have one or more solution. The system of equations should be consistent. That means rank of the augmented matrix should be equal to the rank of the quotient matrix. In particular, for a unique solution, uh, both must be equal to the equal to the number of unknowns. So a number of unknowns is three. That means rank of the quotient matrix as well as the rank of the augmented matrix should match and equal to three, which is equal to number of unknowns. Then the system of equation is consistent and has an unique solution. So for what kind of lambda and you, this will happen. Let us look at the values of lambda and Okay, look at this matrix again. So all depends on this log slope <coughs> because lambda and mu is the log. Okay. So now suppose lambda is not equal to three. Not equal to three. Maybe this is not equal to zero. Well, lambda is not equal to three. So this element will become an unzero element. Okay. Now for any value of mu. For any value of mu, 10 or not equal to 10, doesn't matter whether this becomes equal to or not equal to 0. Still, this row is an unzero. For lambda not equal to 3, this will become an unzero element. Whether this element is 0 or not, mu is equal to 10 or mu not equal to 10. Still, this row, because this element is the middle here, yeah. yeah. aggregate matrix is entire matrix, coefficient matrix is only this much, yeah. first three columns. So, whether uh, lambda mu is equal to 10 or not equal to 10, still this row will be a non zero row, and therefore, now for lambda not equal to 0, what happens? Coefficient matrix as the rank is equal to 3, number of non zero is 1, 2, 3, that whether mu is equal to 10 or not, and that means whether this element is 0 or not, doesn't matter. Still, this is a non zero row only because this element is not equal to 0. This element is not equal to 0. So, number of non zero rows again 3 here. So, rank of the augmented matrix is also equal to 3. So, rank of the augmented matrix is equal to the rank of the quotient matrix. Uh, equal to 3 and equal to the number of unknowns x, y, z. That means the system has a unique solution. Okay. That is our case 2 for lambda for lambda not equal to 3 for lambda not equal to 3 not equal to 3 and for any value of mu and for any value of mu any value of mu rank of augmented matrix Rank of augmented matrix is equal.
equal to 3. Rank of quotient matrix is also equal to 3. So therefore, rank of admitted matrix A bar B is equal to rank of quotient matrix both are equal to 3. Both are equal to 3, which is equal to number of unknowns. Equal to number of unknowns. Number of unknowns. Equal to number of unknowns. Therefore, the system is consistent because rank is equal to number of unknowns. It possesses an unique solution. It has an unique solution. The system of equations is consistent. Therefore, the system of equation, the system of equations, the given system of equations, given system of equations for lambda not equal to 3 and for any value of the given. is consistent is consistent and has an unique solution and has a unique solution okay. now answer to the next question number 3 for all values of lambda and mu, the system has infinite number of solutions. The condition for infinite number of solutions, first of all it has to be consistent, rank should be equal, but rank should be less than the number of unknowns. Okay? Less than or equal to 3, I should get the rank less than or equal to uh, <coughs> less than, then the system has infinite number of solutions. Okay. Now let us look at this matrix again. It is a glance for So, <coughs> for lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10, this row becomes a 0 row, bottom most 0 row. For lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10, these two becomes 0. That means the last row becomes 0, 0. Okay. Now, the coefficient matrix has number of 1, 0 rows 2. So rank is 2. Admitted matrix also has number of non zero rows 1, 2, 2. So the ranks are equal. That means the system is consistent but less than number of unknowns. So therefore, the system has infinite number of solutions for the values lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10. Now that is our answer to the third question. For lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10. <coughs> For lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10. Rank of A B as I told you, for lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10. These elements become zero. So this is zero. This is also zero. This is also zero. Now the quotient matrix is number of non-zero rows. Quotient matrix. Rank of quotient matrix one two. So rank of uh, quotient matrix is two. And rank of admitted matrix again there are two non-zero rows. And so this is also equal to two. So both are equal to two. Both are equal to 2. Uh, therefore, they are equal. Rank of A bar B, aggregated matrix, is equal to the rank of the uh, quotient matrix. Both are equal to 2. But this is less than number of unknowns. Less than number of unknowns. Number of unknowns. So therefore, the system is consistent, no doubt, and has an infinite number of solutions.
So therefore, the given system of equations, given system of equations is consistent, is consistent and has an infinite number of solutions and has and has an infinite number an infinite number of solutions infinite number of solutions okay. this is the answer to this question so let me consider homogeneous system of equations now System of homogeneous linear equation is always consistent because x is equal to 0 is always a solution of x is equal to 0. That is the trivial r, trivial r 
zero solution. Trivial or zero solution. So <coughs> let us verify whether this system has a zero solution or infinite number of non-zero solution. Now let us reduce the matrix A to its ground form. So now uh, there is a one in the leading entry in the first row. So it is very advantage. So multiply this by 3, subtract with this, multiply this by 7 and subtract with this. So you can make 3 and 7, 0. These two elements equal to 0. So what is the operation now? Now R2 will change R2 subject to the operation R2 minus 3 times R1. R3 will change subject to the operation R3 minus 7 times R1. R3 minus 7 times R1. So again, equivalent matrix. The row 1 is being used. So 1, 2, 3. Then 3 minus 3. So a very simple. 3. I multiply this by 3. R2 minus 3 times R1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 4 minus 3 to 2, that is minus 6, 4 minus 6, minus 2. So this is minus 2. Then 4 minus 9, 4 minus 3 to 3, that is 4 minus 9, minus 5. So this is minus 5. And similarly, Similarly, <coughs> to make this element 0, multiply this by 7 and then subtract. 7 minus 7, so this element is 0. 10 minus uh, 40, minus 7 times R1, minus 40, 10 minus 40, so minus 4, minus 4, then 12. Minus 21, 12, minus 21, uh, minus 21, minus 9, minus 9. Okay. So now, this is not in a grand forum because the leading entry in the second row has elements below it not equal to 0. So I have to make this element 0. This is very simple. Multiply R2 by 2 becomes minus 4 and then subtract with this. It will become automatically 0. So next operation is this is equal to now R3 will change. R3 will change subject to the operation R3. R3. So both are minus, so I have to subtract minus 2 times R2. 2 times R2. Now, row 1, row 2 are not changed. 1, 2, 3, 0, minus 2, minus 5, 0. Now, look at this element. Minus 4, R3, minus 2 into corresponding R2, minus 2, minus 4 plus 4. So, this element is 0. Similarly, the next element is minus 9. Minus 9 minus 2 times corresponding R2. This is minus 5, minus 9, and plus 10. That is 1. That is 1. <coughs> but this is a grand form. A grand form. <coughs> so rank of A is equal to 1, 2, 3 equal to number of unknowns 1, 2, 3. That means the given system of equations has one and only one no, trivial solution that is x is equal to 0. So rank of A rank of A is equal to 1, 2, 3 3, which is equal to number of unknowns. Number of unknowns. Number of unknowns. So, which is the condition for 
trivial solutions for the uh, given system of equation. So therefore, the system of equation, when this is so, the given system of equation, the given system of equations, the given system of equations as only a trivial solution has only a trivial or zero solution or zero solution trivial or zero solution so then x is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 0 that is x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 now let me consider another example so a given system of equations
So I mean this leading entry in the first row, that is 4, I have to make these two elements 0. There are many ways of doing, but I, I directly do it I, uh, <coughs> as done in the previous examples. So multiplying this by 6, this by 4 and subtract, you get this element 0. Similarly, multiply this by 4 and this by 2 and then subtract, this becomes 0. So R2 will change, R2 will change subject to R with respect to the operation. 4 R2, 4 R2, minus 6 R2, minus 6 R1. Similarly, R3 will change subject to the operation. 4 R3, 4 R3, uh, because both are plus, I have to subtract, minus 2 times R1, minus 2 times R1. I get an equivalent matrix. So, no one is being used, so that is not disturbed. So, 4, 2, 1, uh, 3, 4, 2, 1, 3. So, now let us look at the calculation part. So, R2 will change with respect to this. 4 times R2, that is 4 times 6, minus 6 times corresponding R1, 4. So, 4 into 6 minus 6 into 4, this is 0. So, this element is 0. Next, take the second limit, 3, 3 into 4 into R2, 4 into 3 minus 6 into corresponding R1, that is 2, this is 12 minus 12 is again 12 minus 12 is 0. Now, I take a look at this element now. 4 into R2, 4 into 4 minus 6 into corresponding R1, that is 1. So this is 16 minus 6, this is 10. So this element is 10. Now look at this element now. Uh, 4 times R2, 4 times 7 minus 6 times corresponding R1, this is 3. So this is 28, 28 minus 18 is again 10. So this element is also 10. Now, look at the elements of R3, how it will change. 4 R3, 4 times 2 R3, corresponding R1, that is minus 2 times 4. So 8 minus 8 is 0. So this element is 0. Now tell me, element 1 now, 4 times R1, that is 1, minus 2 times corresponding R1, this is 2, 4 into 1, 4, minus 2 into 2, 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, 4 times R3, 4 times 0, minus 2 times corresponding R1 is minus 2. So this is minus 2. Look at this element now. 4 into R3, that is 1, minus 2 into corresponding R1, that is 3, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. So this element is minus 2. So now, the leading entry in the second row is 10, and below that entry, that is the element, non zero element. So I have to make this 0. So this is equal to, this is equal to 10 times R3. So R3 will change with respect to the operation. Multiply this by 10, this by 2, and then add because there is a difference in signs, plus and minus. So add will be the answer. So 10 
R3 plus 2 times R2 plus 2 times R2. Now row 1 is perfectly R2. 2, 1, 3. Then row 2 is being used. So write it as it is. 10, 0, 0, 10, 10. Then 0, 0. Uh, how? What will happen to this element now? 10 are the little bit performed here. Let me report here. So 10 times R3 minus 2. Corresponding R2 plus 2 times corresponding R2. 10 minus 20 plus 20 is is Similarly, uh, this element is also zero. Oh, this is in a clan. This is a clan for us. Now, the equivalent equations equivalent to the given system of equations is 4x plus 2y plus 1 into z plus 3w equal to 0. 10 z plus 10 w equal to 0. Now from 1 minus w. From 1. 
from the equation one. Four x is equal to minus two y minus z minus three w. Minus three w. Okay. So this can be done as minus two y. Z is minus w. So I get plus w minus three w. Ah, four x is equal to minus two y minus two w. <coughs> so this is equal to so four x is equal to minus two into y plus w r x is equal to minus y plus w divided by r minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into y plus w where ah, okay, the infinite number of solution is thus thus x is minus 1 by 2 into y plus w. y is free variable and a parameter. y can be a parameter or a free variable. Free. That means it can assume values. It can assume values. Then only we get infinite number of values. Then z is minus w and w is also free. So giving values to w and y we get a different solutions or infinite number of solutions. Okay, so let me consider another problem. Can be written 
can be written in matrix equation form equation form as a x is equal to 0 a x is equal to 0 system of homogeneous linear equation where where a a is the coefficient matrix with entries 1 3 2 first row 1 3 2 2 second row 2 minus 1 3 2 minus 1 3 third row 3 minus 5 4 3 minus 5 4 last row 1 17 4 1 17 4 1 17 4 then x is the column matrix of unknowns there are three unknowns x1 x2 and x3 x1 x2 and x3 now let us reduce this <coughs> matrix coefficient matrix a to its exam form and continue so a is equivalent to I have to make these three elements of 0. Leading entry in the first row is 1, advantage. So multiply this by 2, subtract with this to make this element 0. Multiply this by 3 and then subtract with this to make this element 0. Then just subtract R4 from R1, this will become 0. So don't worry about the other elements. So R2 will change subject to the operation uh, R2 minus 2R1. 2R1. Then R3 will change subject to the operation R3 minus 3R1. R3 minus 3 times R1. Similarly, R4 will change subject to the operation R4 minus R1. R4 minus R1. So row 1 is being used, so no change. We shall write 1, 3, 2 as it is. 1, 3, 2. Now look at the other elements. Look at the other elements. 2 minus 2 is 0. So very simple calculation. So multiplying this by 2. So this is 2, this is 6, this is 4. And then I am subtracting with these elements, corresponding elements. 2 minus 2, 0. Minus 1, uh, minus 6 is minus 7. Then 3, minus 4 is minus 1. So 0 minus, uh, 0 minus 7 is minus 1. Minus 1. Then, 3 minus 3, this element is 0, it is equal to 3 minus 3, minus 5, minus 3 into 3, that is minus 9, so minus 14, minus 9, minus 5, minus 14, <coughs> minus 5, R3, minus 3 into 3, that is minus 9, so minus 14, minus 14, similarly, 4, minus 4 this 4 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 minus 2 minus 2 then similarly <coughs> 1 minus 1 0 r4 minus r1 1 minus 1 0 17 minus 
3 is 14. Uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Now, just look at the matrix now. The leading entry in the second row is minus 7. Okay? And these are all, these two are multiples of 7. So I can easily make these two elements 0 by multiplying this by 2 and then subtracting from these elements, with these elements. So this is equivalent to, so let me write here, this is equivalent to R3, R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 because both are minus sign, I have to subtract, minus 2 times R2, R3 minus 2 times R2. Similarly, <coughs> this element can be made 0 by adding the 2 times the elements of R2. So, R4 will change subject to the operation R4. Now, it is plus. There is a difference in sign. R4 plus uh, 2 times R2. 2 times R2. So, I get equivalent matrix. R1 and R2 are being used. Uh, R1 is not changed. 1, 3, 2, uh, 0, minus 7, minus 1, 0, minus 7, minus 1. And there will be a change. So, minus 14. Now, the word the calculation here. R3 is minus 14, minus 2 times corresponding R2, minus 7, minus 14, plus 14, so 0. So, this is already a 0, because this element is 0, nothing will happen to this. So, now this element is 0. The next, you can easily see, R3 is minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, into corresponding R2, minus 1. So, minus 2 plus 2, so this element is 0. The similarly, <coughs> 14 minus 14, 0. So, this is 0 already, 0. Minus 2, uh, plus 2, 2 into minus, that is minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, there is the echelon forum of the coefficient matrix. Number of non-zeros is equal to 2 less than number of unknowns. So therefore, the system has <coughs> infinite number of infinite number of non-trivial solutions. So that uh, the coefficient matrix A is equal to 2 is equal to number of non-zeros 1, 2 but less than number of unknowns. Number of unknowns number of unknowns. Therefore, the given system of equations has infinite number of non-trivial solutions. Therefore, the given system of equations has an infinite has an infinite number, infinite number of non-zero or non-trivial, what I can say, non-infinite number of non-trivial solutions, non-trivial solutions. What are those solutions? Let us verify, we will find out here. Now, Looking at this same matrix, I can have bottom. We can write the equivalent equations for the given system of equations. The given system of equations the given System of equations 
is equivalent to is equivalent to equivalent to x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0 x1 plus 3x2 plus 2 x3 equal to 0 call this as equation number 1 equation number 1 then minus x2 summon x2 minus 7x2 minus x3 is equal to 0 call this as equation number 2 From two, from the equation two, seven x two is equal to minus x two. Therefore, x two is minus. 1 by 7 x now from 1 from the equation 1 x1 is equal to minus 3x2 Uh, the remaining portion in my next lecture.